I want you guys to put yourself into my shoes so you can understand how a day in my life is. I wake up in the morning, I'm still sleepy, barely had time to rub my eyes when the phone is vibrating and as I'm looking at it, it's people asking me, are Romanian prisons a training camp for weebs? And I'm starting to wonder, what are they talking about? What, what is this nonsense? Has the Matrix glitched on me? Why are people asking such stupid questions? But then as I go on the internet, I see Andrew Tate, this fine specimen of a man, former kickboxing world champion, flexing not just his muscles, but apparently his love for anime. Yes, he's posted pictures of himself with anime girls, and not just any anime girls, like we're talking S-tier waifu material. Photoshopped, of course, although it's 2023, so who knows, uh, maybe the lines have been blurred a little bit. But all jokes aside, I do not think that Andrew Tate has been following anime marathons while in the slammer. I do not believe that he has a Crunchyroll subscription. This guy has not been getting lost in the sauce. He is steering the ship. You see, he realized that his base is of a certain demographic that really enjoys anime. And because of that, he's not being like some sort of right-wing boomer, Isolev, that's going like, oh my god, get off my lawn. Oh, all the, the anime, oh, the anime, they turning you into evil. Oh, we need to ban, we need to censor, we need... No, he's embracing it. And because of that, he's very popular while doing it. I mean, look at the number of people that are sharing his stuff. We're talking tens of millions of people that are soy-facing due to the fact that Andrew Tate has an anime wife who Photoshop next to him, right? Because he actually understands how to talk with the younger generation. And to me, this is very concerning because all the other right-wingers that should do literally the exact same thing, they're like, oh my god, anime, oh, sex, sex, oh, the TV, they're sex. And meanwhile, you have Netflix, which shows goodies. You, you have AJ and the Queen. You have all of that stuff coming from Hollywood. No concern over there, right? Like, you have Drag Queen Kids Story Hour, like, oh, all right. No, no, the VTuber, oh, the VTuber has an avatar and we carbon date Gargura and Gargura does not fit the carbon date standard. We need to ban, we need to censor. And then you, you look at these celebrities and you're wondering, like, what exactly do they have to offer for the new generation besides the fact that you need to ban, you need to stop watching this, you need to drop this hobby, you need to drop that thing. What exactly do you replace entertainment with? Go outside. Yeah, you know, if you live in LA or Chicago, you go outside. You touch grass. Like, you, you know, touching grass, especially in the United States, seems to be more of a privilege than a right nowadays. If you live in Martha's Vineyard, yeah, you can touch grass. But if you live on the down streets of Chicago, it's probably best to stay inside. Probably best to watch that anime. I'm just saying, you know. But uh, it's interesting because I see, like, Andrew Tate trying to appeal to the younger audience. And usually when politicians or influencers do that, it looks like Grandpa putting up a Naruto shirt and talking about his way of the ninja. It, it just feels very out of touch. But when Andrew Tate does it, it feels just normal and casual. It's like, yeah, here's a picture of my car in an anime girl. Like, literally, that's it. Like, no, no, nothing else needs to be said. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I wish that people who are on the right, you know, like, you don't have to take his ideology. You don't have to take his way of thinking. But at least when you look at this agitprop that fucking works because it's got tens of millions of shares, you could say, yeah, well, you know, maybe he, he does something there that if we were to do better, he would actually have less subscribers. You know, like maybe that's something that could be emulated. I'm just saying. Not the misogyny, by the way, but at least like the way he can reach his audience without getting them to turn away. By going like, oh, we need to ban this. Oh, this is evil. This is, this is satanic. The anime is satanic. Even in a joke, you shouldn't say that. It's not funny. When everything is getting banned and taken away from you, when your video games are taken away from you, when, when entertainment is being flooded with garbage, even joking about, like, the last ounce of liberty being taken away is not funny. But uh, anyway, like, the, the whole thing seems to have started uh, when a person posted this meme and... This actually led to a little bit of controversy because uh, the artist was furious due to the fact that when Andrew Tate posted it, he removed the watermark. But, uh, Demo, Shkushi, I did the investigation. I did the event, like, why is my channel here if not to do the hard investigation? Turns out that it was someone that tweeted it at Andrew and he retweeted it so he didn't tinker with the picture. 
it's very not cool to, to tinker with an artist's watermark, by the way. But uh, it, it seems that uh, Andrew may be guilty of many things, but this is not one of it. Not guilty. He didn't tinker with the watermark. But yeah, like all in all, uh, it does seem that uh, this interesting gadget prop works. If people ask, like, why is Andrew Tate posting anime? It's because it's popular, right? Like, a, a lot of times when dealing with celebrities and influencers, when you wonder, like, why do they keep doing X? Uh, it's because it gets views. Simple as. Like, that. there's no other explanation. The moment he's going to start posting anime and it's not going to get views, he will stop posting them. I do not think that Andrew Tate watches anime. I do not think he knows what the Gargura is. I do not think he knows what the Eren Yeager is. But he notices that, okay, you Photoshop this wife in this picture, 25 million views. Why, why wouldn't he? Why wouldn't he? Right? Other uh, commentators are like, oh, uh, if I talk about the waifu then, uh, and, and I tell people not to watch her because it's a, it's a pipeline to transgenderism. I, I heard this argument. It's a pipeline to like animate to trans. Um, when you do that, it's like, oh, well, it, it upsets people. So that means that I'm striking a chord. I need to do it more. Okay, right. Uh, other people don't. 25 million views. Like, well. What more can there be said? What more can there be said? Like, honestly, I, I have heard so many dumb takes from right-wingers. It's astonishing when it comes to anime. Uh, if you like anime girls that have abs, you're probably gay. Like, this is an argument. 2023, right? This, this is legit. But, right, if you like girls that are toned, that, that, that have abs... Not, not to mention, like, okay, and, and if you're gay, so what? But, but like, no, the, the, the very thing it, it comes up with, it's, right? So that was one hot take. Uh, the other hot take is, of course, uh, you know, the carbon dating the anime girls, like Uzaki-chan, uh, way too young, oh my god. I mean, she's got massive boobies, and she's at university, but they carbon dated the cartoon. And, and they concluded that she is way too young, okay. Right, nah. And and the cartoon itself is, is not pornographic. Like, is that... Mm. Right, you know, when you say things like that, um, I don't know if, if if these people grew up when I grew up, but, but my parents were telling me that heavy metal is satanic and I shouldn't listen to rock music. And guess what? The more they told me not to, the more I wanted to. Uh, the same thing with Dungeons and Dragons being satanic and other bullshit like that. Like, you need to stop telling the young generation to, to give up their hobbies and not replace them with anything. Because, like, okay, if they stop watching anime, what do they watch? Western entertainment, right? Do, do you want them to watch Western entertainment if you're a right-winger? If you're a conservative, do, do you like what Disney is putting out? Huh? I mean, maybe you do. Like, if you do, like, who am I to contradict you, you know? I, I, I don't genuinely care what type of entertainment people enjoy. But if you want to support the, you know, the, the new remakes and adaptations and the sequels and the, the same stuff over and over again, and you want to support these business practices, sure, you know, maybe you should tell them that anime is bad. Then they can uh, pick up uh, a, a Marvel or a DC comic book that's made in the West. Real American companies, baby. Let me know what you guys think, though. And as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.